I'll demonstrate the gastrocnemia stretch. So I will stretch my right gastrocnemius. So in that case, my right leg is gonna be positioned behind my left leg. So in order to do this stretch effectively, you're gonna stand against the wall, not too far, not too close. And your hands will be positioned against that wall. And as I'm stretching my right gastrocnemius, I'm gonna put my right leg behind my left. The gastrocnemius muscle attaches in the distal femur, right, the distal thigh. And so it is really important that you position this right leg and right knee appropriately in order to stretch and isolate the gastrocnemius. And so there are two rules that are important for stretching the gastrocnemius. The first is that the front knee is always bent and the back knee is always locked straight. And by keeping it straight, it keeps the gastrocnemius muscle taut or tight and keeps it stretched. Uh, the second rule is that the, uh, the toes are pointing toward the opposite heel. So with my right foot, I am rotating it slightly. It's a very slight internal rotation to point toward my left heel. And this really gets, especially the medial head of the gastrocnemius. And uh, in that position, I then dip my hip in. And what you'll see is that uh, my right ankle goes into more dorsiflexion. You can see the stretch that I'm getting um, at the right Achilles and at the right ankle. Now there are ways to cheat this test, or this stretch I should say, and one is to actually bend your torso. And so some patients that I'm demonstrating will do this maneuver and uh, they think they're actually doing something, but they're doing a wall push-up in that particular case. And so the torso has to be straight and you're gonna dip your hip in right, and get an effective stretch, right? I tell patients I don't want them bouncing, so no bouncing, right? You're gonna hold it for a sustained count of five and then release. And a sustained count of five and then release. I want to demonstrate that if you do this gastrocnemia stretch with the leg externally rotated and you can do this actually just to feel the difference, you actually don't get the same level of stress, particularly at the medial gastrocnemius, as if you slightly internally rotate and have the toes pointing toward the opposite heel and then do that same stretch. There's a distinct difference. Less tension, greater tension and more of a stretch.